Hello everyone and welcome to virtual art class. This is Mrs. Clausen and I will be teaching it with Ms. Giuseppe. This is different than our regular classroom, but we can still be creative and make art. What we're going to do today is we're going to play a little game of I Spy Shapes in Art. So just to remind everyone of what the shapes are, we have a red circle on the top. Everybody see if you can use your finger and trace a circle up into the air. We have a yellow square. Now use your finger and trace and make a square in the air. Okay, we have a blue oval. Everybody make an oval with their finger. We have a green rectangle. Make a rectangle with your finger. We have a purple triangle. Everybody make a triangle with your finger. And we have an orange semicircle. Now a semicircle is just a circle cut in half. So everyone make a semicircle with your finger. Wow, very good. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at some artwork and we're going to try to find some of these shapes in the artwork. So the first painting we're going to be looking at is by Vincent van Gogh and it is called Bedroom at Arles. And the um, shape you're looking for is a rectangle. So take a look in your painting here. See if you can spy a rectangle. Now I'm going to give you just a minute. And I bet you can see quite a few rectangles. So I know I saw a rectangle here. And let me get a better color. A rectangle here. And I can see a, um, a long skinny rectangle right there. And another rectangle. Oh, that's much better. There's a good color. There's a rectangle there, there's a rectangle there. There's quite a few rectangles in this painting. So I hope you spied one also, okay? Make a rectangle with your finger. Great, good job, let's go to the next one. I spy with my little eye a circle. And this painting is by Pablo Picasso and um, it is called Dora Mar. And he painted it in 1955, long time ago. So. See if you can find a circle um, and I'll give you just a minute and you might have seen, there's probably a few circles in here. I could see a circle right there. I see a circle right there. I see a little circle on a button. I see some circles in the eyes. Did you see all those circles too? I bet you did. Very good. Okay, let's go to the next one. I spy with my little eye a square and this painting is by Grant Wood and it is called Spring in Town. So let's see, I see, oh I see a little, well I'll give you a minute and look at it before I point them all out because I bet I'm going to miss a few even. Hmm, I see this one over here, I saw that little window, oh I see some squares on these quilts over here. I see a square up in this window up there. Oh, there's some squares over here too. I think that's a little square right back there. And let's see, hmm, there's probably some more squares. Oh, maybe even this big plot of land over here would be a square. Okay, very good. Let's look at our next picture. This one is called The Red Balloon by Paul Klee. And I said, I spy with my little eye a triangle. Hmm, look at it closely. I know we see the circle right here, right here, right away. How about right there? Did you notice the triangle that's right there? There's probably another one you could even cut if you straight, if you put this line right through here, you could say that was a triangle too. How about that? There's another triangle. Very good. Everybody make a triangle with your finger. Okay, good job. Let's go to our next one. I spy with my little eye a semicircle. And this painting is called The Eiffel Tower by George Seurat. 
and I'm going to just follow that one. There we go. There's a semicircle. It's like a circle cut in half. And I see one there. Hmm, I think that was the only semicircle. Maybe you'll see another one. Everyone, make a semicircle with your finger. Wow, great job. My next one, this, this is a print by Peter Blake. And I said, I spy with my little eye a star. And you might have seen a star. Oh, look in here. There's quite a few stars. I see a whole, I see 51 stars. 51. Well, there's 50 stars in our, on the flag of the United States, plus one over here. So everyone, see if you can make a star with your finger. Very good. Next one, I spy with my little eye a heart. And this is a painting um, called Teddy Bear by Romero Brito. It's a very colorful, happy painting. I really like it. It kind of made me happy when I look at it. And it's got a lot of parent patterns and colors. And right in the middle, if you saw the two hearts right away, give yourself a pat. Great job. My next um, activity that we're going to be doing is a little art supply scavenger hunt. We're going to be using some different art supplies that we'll need for our projects. And sometimes I want you to think if you don't have just paints or if you ha don't have your crayons at home or markers, maybe there's some other things you could even use for art supplies. So maybe you can um, use some paper towel rings, I mean rolls, or you could use um, some Legos to make a picture or you can use some old yogurt cups or an old piece of yarn. There's all different types of things we could use to make our art. Now, I said find a box or another container. If you don't want to have a box at home because maybe your your mom or your dad or whoever's your um, person who's watching you says, oh, I don't want to keep those boxes. There might be germs. That's fine. Maybe you can find a bag. If not, you can just try to find a spot to keep your um, supplies together. And if you have a sibling at home, yes, you can share those supplies. Please make sure you don't take something without asking your um, guardian and make sure that they'll, they're all right that you're using some of the supplies. You don't want to take something that your mom really likes or your dad really likes or any or your grandma or whatever, your babysitter. So you can look around your house, see if you can find some different supplies and maybe store them in a box and be sure you get permission. Be sure you get your permission and try to find as many as you can. If you have markers and um, paints and stuff like that, that's great. But if you don't, that's all right. We can try to use some other things. Maybe you've got some old copier paper or some newspapers. That could be used for our art class too. Now today, um, I'm going to have you use the shapes that we talked about and any of those supplies that you might have found and do a drawing of your choice. If you do have crayons, you can color your drawing and try to use your shapes when you draw. You can do your circle, your square, your oval, your rectangle, your triangle, and your semicircle. If you need some ideas, I will give you some drawing ideas. Maybe you want to draw your dream house. Maybe you would like to draw yourself as a superhero. Maybe you would like to have a draw a picture of a spaceship that landed in your front yard. It is your choice. You can draw whatever you like. If you would like to share them, you can email me or you could post it on social media. Um, we on our Coats page. I, if you um, if you type in hashtag Coats Art, I'll make sure that I post it either on Twitter or on our Facebook or something. Okay, so please do your best and try to do some art. Okay, we'll see you.